Hi there, my name is Samuel and welcome back to another video and today we should be taking a look at the Lego Looney Tunes minifigure series which honestly getting a title for this video was quite hard. So yeah, this did come on on April 26th or the 27th and this does claim 12 exclusive minifigures for the Looney Tunes which here you can see the packaging which it doesn't actually say series 1 so maybe this is a limited, more like limited time series that we'll have to tell in the future. And then the checklist is one of the newer small, uh, small mouldy ones. There you can see that we have the 12 figures and we have this like really nice print on on the back with some like bricks and then we have the instructions and that is looks really cool the art of bugs bunny so yeah those are the instructions which this series honestly i think is potential well no definitely my favorite of the year so far marvel may or may not say overtake it but it's got some really awesome minifigures and i believe every single figure well yeah every figure has at least one or two exclusive parts mainly spinning gonzalez having the towel and the head hair combo with the hat so that is really awesome so yeah let's start off by taking a look at figure number one which is Lola Bunny. So starting off with Lola Bunny you can see that she has this new head mold which that I would recommend is the best way to fill for her. You can feel it through the packaging and the fact that it sort of goes up there's a massive gap it's really easy to tell but there you can see Lola Bunny which honestly the minifigure looks pretty awesome there you can see her body printing and she also has like really good leg printing like they have the boots the shorts and like the leggy part like her actual leg in the middle. It's really cool when they do that like triple molding well technically it's dual. Yeah I think it is triple molding isn't it? It's really like disappointing that the fact that they sometimes do it and sometimes don't like the new end game catch america hasn't got any of that like no boots which is a bit of a disappointment and then there you can see the towel and the back printing which looks really cool so yeah load of bunny i think is a really neat minifigure there you can see her head mold again which i think some of it, it does sort of look like it might be smudged a tad which is a little bit annoying but hey it is what it is but there you can see her face printing again which i think is pretty cool and there you can see the top which looks pretty interesting there you can see that little mold stamp so yeah that is and that is like the ball i believe that is the basketball to try in with that though it's a shame it doesn't have any print on it so now let's go on to bugs bunny taking a look at bugs bunny here you can see what he looks like which honestly these ears are so big and there you can see mine has a little potential mark there which is a bit annoying but they're moving down to Bugs Bunny himself there you can see his body print which genuinely it is so simple but it's really effective because if he then had like a jersey or like a t-shirt or something printed over it just wouldn't be his generic form so that is why it's quite good that at least he's simple but effective and quite accurate there you can see that there's a few marks on the back i'm not exactly sure what those are but there you can see the towel which i agree but it's sort of annoying that he doesn't actually have a towel mold but it would sort of stick out a bit more than all the others so it, i guess it makes sense it's sort of like what they had to do with like sizing winnie the pooh piglet and all of those characters so there you can see his face which looks really cool so yeah bugs bunny is another great minifigure on there you can see like his whiskers and everything so yeah that is bugs bunny now let's move on to the next character here we have the scheming genius himself wily e coyote which honestly this headpiece looks absolutely incredible and it's really hard to get the camera to focus in because it is such a large mold and it's such a really unique like size honestly it's a nightmare like you can see that really sticks out from it looks absolutely incredible his ears are quite tall as well so it is genuinely really hard to fit him in the frame but putting the camera back down we can see he's printing which honestly this this minifigure, I think, is another great one. Like, this is probably one of my favourites, the Rocket Raccoon Tower piece, which I think wasn't this for Itchy or Scratchy, one of them Simpson characters, I believe, is where it first came around. But there you can see that we have, like, the anvil, which looks really cool. And his printing, again, is simple, but effective. These Looney Tune figures, yes, are simple, but their head moulds, of course, make up for them. Yeah, like, it's not even bad. It's so, it's just so perfect the way it's done, and I really like the way his nose droops at the end. So that is it, and he has the anvil. I don't really know the significance of the anvil. I do remember watching it, and always remember like the meat neep and i did find it quite entertaining and i think i'm hopefully watch that more than like the tunes itself but there you can see that minifigure which is awesome running on into spot number four we have road runner or meat meep as i call it due to the fact that he always says meep meep but anyway there you can see that which his head is so tall with that new thin piece which i really like the look of that it again just looks absolutely incredible like this minifigure is done really well and actually quite funny i just realized it he's, um, he's another new bird character using the bird well the chicken or originated piece which is really interesting in the game he doesn't have much printing there you can see his feet and all of that which this i kind of wish that he was like the flamingo actually i don't have it on the desk anymore and he came with road run up that would have made more sense i mean with wiley o 
Coyote. And there you can see the tail, which is a bit crooked because it got a bit bent in the packaging. So be careful with that. I think it, even if you don't feel them or anyone doesn't, but it still mostly will happen because of the other parts. So maybe that should be in its own packaging. But anyway, there you can see that with his head, which I really like the look of that. So yeah, that is him, which he looks really awesome. And then here you can see a Tweezy Pie, which this minifigure, again, I think should have been with the next one, which is Sylvester. It really should have just been like a small little group piece, but nevertheless, I really like the look of it. We have this massive hammer, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that in a minute. But actually, there you can see the hammer there, which is basically the same as a Harley Quinn build. Well, a bit more rounded than one of her original. But there you can see that with the head. The head is actually done perfectly well. And there you can see again, not much printing, but these minifigures don't need printing. All of the detail goes into their heads. And if you look at their the art, like character design, doesn't matter what art you're looking at, it's always like their heads are like the most detailed part of their design. But there you can see the hammer, which is pretty cool. You can see that it has like the Lego on it. So yeah, that's really cool. And it's a bit annoying that the grey parts aren't actually done in brown yet. But there you can see Tweety Pie, which again is another really awesome minifigure. And here we have Sylvester, who was always trying to eat Tweety Pie, which I do have some memories of like him stuffing Tweety Pie in his mouth. So that's a bit of a thing. So yeah, uh, sometimes I do wonder how this was actually a kid show, really, like looking at back at it. But there you can see that it has this bat, which I really like this bat. Like it's one of those pieces that you don't see too often. And I don't really have many of them. That's what I used to like about that Looney Tunes. And no, sorry, not Looney Tunes, that Simpson character. But there you can see what he looks at again not much printing but then again he has got a really good head mold there you can see his legs which i love the way that they've done the dual molding and they've like spiked it up that is incredible i think it's actually one of the neatest i've actually seen it done and there you can see the body print which is yeah it's not exactly the most right tone of white but still and there you can see his tower again which the paint application needs to be a lot thicker but there you can see his head which i really like the look of that genuinely which there you can see his head mold which i really like the look of that it genuinely just looks really cool like the little white hair parts stick out the top and it's really weird like if he cut is that hair because if he cut all that off look how much skinnier his head would be sort of reminds me that one of the um, disney characters but there you can see that which is really cool and he has the red nose so sylvester is another incredible minifigure of this series well then currently daffy duck's son may be a bit inaccurate because it's actually reveal season not rabbit season i'm hoping we'll get more lego reveals today i'm really hoping for ninjago at some point but there you can see it says a rabbit season which looks really cool and there you can see like the little white tuff of hair on his body which looks really cool he has the orange boots and everything so yeah this minifigure if you got a really like the look of that you can see it has the town which they don't actually show the road to put it up i believe it is that way i had a look at their like 360 degree video the whole set that's sort of how they showed it they can see that which i really like the way his like beak part is done it just looks really cool the mouth and yeah it looks really cool i like the way that all six see that the lower jaw and they didn't keep open like pie for what they called to get one with like closed mouth so yeah that is that which is really cool i like that rabbit season side though it's a shame that we don't get one that says a duck season with bugs of bunny but now then then move on to the next one i never quite understand the speedy gonzalez here why is he called speedy gonzalez i thought it was like that was a, a saying like quick and speedy gonzalez but he's not quick is he i don't think so i thought he was like a speedster sort of character like fast but anyway there you can see the body print which really reminds me of fred from scooby-doo which is quite funny to see a bit of fuzzy printing around the edge and they're actually using the cheese towel this i do believe is the first time that lego have ever used a cheese towel for literally cheese because it's always well it's generally more referred as a wedge plate in lego's terms but then as like the fan like like community thing a sort of turning into the cheese cheese like which is what i refer it to and um, most refer it to so it's really cool to see it they go finally actually printing cheese on it which is quite funny and there you can see that he has the tougher hair his head and the hat all in one mold that is incredible so seriously it mustn't be that much to ask for to have like a fedora hat before indiana jones and alan grant with their hat and hair but anyway there you can see the bottom back of it which looks really cool so this minifigure is another really good one and that towel piece is exclusive you can see it's a bit off the back so it might be a bit crooked but anyway, that is Speedy Gonzalez, and you do get a full spare of this cheese. So that is really awesome. And here we have my favourite Tasmanian Devil, the Tasmanian Devil himself, which this minifigure is incredible. And that towel, I actually did sort of bin. I've got a bag over here where I put my rubbish. And I saw it, and I was like, hey, what is that? And I was like, oh. I knew something looked weird on his back, but I couldn't tell. I thought it looked a bit, like, plain. But no, it was that that was missing. And this, I was so worried that we wouldn't get. And then I was like, hey, maybe they'll do it sort of like a chewy. I thought it'd be like that. And I was right, so that was really cool. No, it's a shame that the printed piece there has got a bit of marking on it. But there you can see his mould, which I think is probably the best of the series. Just look how big it is. It's absolutely incredible. 
incredible the way it's done. It's got the mouth, it's got the eyes, it's got the hair. Everything about that is actually incredible. Like genuinely, I'm ha as I'm talking about this, I'm having flashbacks of watching the show. It's quite weird. But then here you can see we have the plate, which what you can do. Actually, having a look at the feet, he does have feet printing. You can simply put him on there, which is really hard to get him to spin. Like genuinely, he doesn't actually really spin at all. But you can still see that nevertheless, which I really like the look of him on there. And that's how I'm always going to display him like that. I'm going to have to reconfigure my desk display, I think, in a minute. Or well, actually, I don't get a spot for Marvel. But there you can see that, which I really like the print of that. I think it's really awesome. So yeah, Tasmanian Devil is by far my favourite due to that mould being absolutely incredible. And then here we have the confusing name on him itself. Marvin the Marsh, which also is like Martin the Marvin or something like that. Marvin, Martin, I don't know, Martian. I always got confused, but it's Marvin the Martian. Sorry if I've just confused anyone there but there you can see him which he does have the ray gun and when i just thought by it they ha lego have done crossbow with um, one of the characters from uh, the dc series and they're less they have less safety on them than like guns so i really don't get the logic there but there you can see him which i really like the minifigure i think he looks really cool his face print though is really grainy it's quite disappointing to see it i'm a bit marked but hey you won't see it too much there's his feet printing but it's, it's not molded like why i get that these are it's a new mold but seriously lego must if they can do the small legs and they can do the big legs they can do the medium legs it's like no excuse with that there really so there you can see the ray gun but maybe as it's still like early i guess i can sort of let well i can't let it slide it's not too much but would it just be nicer for the finishing product and there you can see his broom hat which i never get the logic like why is that so yeah there you can see that which i think is a pretty awesome minifigure now let's move on to the next one and then here we have the thing of nightmares petuna pig which i know i keep saying that but seriously he looks terrifying like you you woke up at 3 a.m. and you saw that face standing over your bed. I'll be just like mortified. Look, look at it. It looks absolutely terrifying. Like, honestly, it looks really scary. Anyway, there you can see her molded head, which still looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the look of the head mold, it is good. But seriously, she didn't need to be in this series. Like, literally, every video I've seen, everyone's been like, good series, yeah, load of bunny, bit uncommon, but yeah, who is Petuna? Everyone is wondering who really is Petuna. Like, we don't really know, and there you can see she does have some Lego printing. So yeah, that is Petrina Pig, which I think is really cool, and there you can see her, like, top printing. So yeah, that is Petrina Pig, which, again, her eyes do look a bit grainy there. A bit annoying that some of the figures have become quite grainy, but anyway, let's finish off with the final figure. And here we have Porky Pig himself with the That's All Folks sign, which is really cool, and that is, of course, the outro sort of one. The only two, and sort of mirrors the beginning, but there you can see him, which looks really cool. You can see that he has some back printing, which the pink sort of lines up a bit better. They got definitely getting much better at it but there you can see that and yeah there you can see the front printing which looks really cool and gain another mark but i mean it's a few marks on these figures not gonna lie that is really disappointing so there you can see his bow tie which bow ties are cool if you get that reference there and there you can see his face which i really like the look of that and yeah it looks quite good it looks much better than petunia's creepy one but there that is the last minifigure which why does he have gloves does he always wear gloves that is one thing i've never quite understood and there you can see that that's all folk sign which i really like the look of that so yeah yeah, that is the Looney Tunes minifigure series. Now let's go on to my final thoughts of the set. So there we have it. I hope you did enjoy this review. And yeah, this I think is by far one of my favourite series. Just of how unique the characters are. The new moulds. There's about 15 or 16 new moulds. Which honestly is incredible. With Roadrunner having three itself. Like it's just such an incredible series. I really like it. It's all like Sesame Street. I don't really have an emotional like a nostalgic tie to this series. I did watch like the one when there's babies. Like the like prequel alternative universe one. So that I guess I do have that there. And that tells mainly devil i do i used to have that like teddy that used to terrify me so there is also that to that but yeah i really like this series like genuinely i think this is just a really good series i hope me get a series too i know that there's some characters apparently there's one that they can't do due to controversy and then there's a couple others which i know they have guns but why does it matter? Like, technically, he's got a ray gun. What's the difference? Here we go. He's actually a better one. We have the Lego Batman movie character. He's got two guns. So why can we not have him? I don't know. And they're like pistols. So it's like, I don't get it. Like, if we can have ray guns, we can have that because it's just alien guns. So it's a little bit weird why we're doing that. But yeah, this minifigure series is incredible. And I definitely think Tasmanian Devil will be on my figures of the year. This That list is already getting built. Like, I think I know. Well, some figures that we've seen leaked photos for are really going to be on there. So yeah, that is the Looney tunes minifigure series honestly i think this is really awesome so what do you think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until tomorrow's video see you there bye for now